This is Mount Everest, and today I'm gonna be climbing it. Not in real life, however, but inside of a gacha game. And for the next 30 minutes, I'll only have one single piece of HP while dodging mobs in the cold and my giant paranoia of falling to my death. And if I fail to do so, I'll spend my entire life savings on Kitchen Impact. And since my timer starts right now, we need to start running to checkpoint number one. Starting off on a high note, after crossing the bridge into Dragonspine, we've already come to a problem. We've already started to freeze. Luckily, in preparation for this challenge, I brought three warming bottles in case of emergency. So let's just enjoy the quick stroll until we hit the first checkpoint. After striking checkpoint number one, I want to take one step backwards and say that this video is sponsored by me. Now, I won't be trying to sell you a product, but instead I want to ask you a question. If there was any video game character from any series you can hang out with for one day only, who would it be? Let me know in the comments below, and while I was reading that out, I started jogging to checkpoint number two, or passively known as Dragon Spine's Statue of the Seven. So it seems we've hit our first trial. If we zoom into the distance, we can see a band of hilly trolls that have arrows, clubs, and shields. So it seems that I could either run my way through them and get hit by an arrow, or fight my way through them and get hit by an arrow. Both of them not really being the smarter choice. However, at the last second, I took a chance and bolted through. But then more mobs started to spawn, and I started freaking out. If I'm being honest, that probably wasn't the smartest move made during this challenge, and it did end up costing us two minutes. But I think I have a new strategy. You see, if I just run super fast and I don't take another detour, then we'll probably make it. I know, my blow. As we pick up the pace once again, we can see we've hit a major milestone. If you can see that blue thing way off in the distance, that is the Statue of Seven. However, we can't get too close to this checkpoint or else it would fill my health bar. And that would be no bueno. So we're taking a sharp detour right and entering this scary cave. We are once again stuck in a rock in a hard place, as there's another hilly troll sharpshooter ready to take me out, and not on a nice date, but to an early grave. I already was able to trigger one of the icicles to fall on the first one, but the other hilly troll is just too far away. Trying to use my geo skill did nothing, which means we're gonna have to rely on old reliable. Swimming. Even though that was a chaotic mess, we still have to complete a giant climb to reach checkpoint number 3, so I decided to recap what we've done so far. Since we started this journey together, we reached checkpoints 1 and 2, which leaves two more to be discovered. One being a strange building hidden in the mountains, and another being a teleporter before the big climb. Time-wise, we're actually doing pretty good, so we're on a great pace. Luckily, as I finished my ramblings, we finished the climb and made it to checkpoint number 3 which in no one's surprise is revealed as Dragon Spine's artifact domain, the place where my resin comes to die. On a happier note, if we look up at the sky and zoom in once again, we can see the Skyfrost Nail, a giant nail that the gods threw in Dragon Spine because they knew too much about forbidden knowledge. Don't call me that though, this is three-year-old lore from the back of my brain, and I'm kinda lazy, so I'll just put up an image that explains it better. Anyways, do you see that teleporter? Of course you do! That's checkpoint number four, which means I can finally start our final climb to the Sky Frost Nail! That felt cooler in my head.
So we made it to the final puzzle before we reach the Skyfrost Snail, but there's one problem. I don't know if you see the statue, but I kind of freaked up by choosing the wrong Elemental Traveler. But it's okay, we just need to jump all the way down to the Statue of the Seven and race back up again. We'll be fine, I hope. After switching my Traveler to the correct element, it's time to run all the way back up, which means we basically got reset all the way back 20 minutes. And now that we only have 5 minutes left, I need to start running. Determination, heartache, and poor planning is one of the many things I faced today. But you know, at least the view up here was worth it. 